Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel called Silicon VLSI. Today we will discuss about 60 SRAM. Specifically we will explore how 60 SRAM cell will work and why it stand out in terms of speed, performance, power efficiency. Let's get started. So in this video we will focus on 60 SRAM cell, a fundamental building block in a modern memory layout design. The 60 the stand for 6 transistor in that 2 cross couple inverter will be there and 2 access transistor will be there which is directly connected with word line which will help to read and write operation. So let's start the video. CMOS device has been scaled down over the year to achieve a higher speed, better performance and the lower power consumption. When such a technology benefit from this scaling is SRAM or we can say that static random access memory. Why SRAM? Why we are using SRAM? Why not DRAM? What is the key advantage of the SRAM? So the main advantage of this SRAM is it don't require periodically refresh unlike DRAM dynamic random access memory. This is because the memory state is maintained to cross coupled. Inverter. As long as the power is supplied, the SRAM cell retain its state. This characteristic makes SRAM faster and more robust, making its preferable choice for many high speed applications. So, which means in SRAM we don't require periodically refresh. That means that because it is because of the two cross couple inverter pair are there. While in DRAM, DRAM there is one, only one transistor use. And because of high bit line and bit line bar load, it gets discharged. So we need it periodically refresh. But, refresh. but in SRAM, we don't require this kind of thing because it is cross coupled inverter. The 60 SRAM cell comprised a pair of weak cross coupled inverter to hold the state and pair of excess transistors. To read and write the state. Here is a step by step background of the operation. So if you see here, this is two cross couple inverter. And this one is we can say that access transistor which is directly connected with word line. So now let's discuss about 60 SRAM advantage. The first advantage is it is a fast read and write operation as compared to DRAM. The second advantage of SRAM is low latency. It means it has a low latency because of this two excess transistor. Third one is low power consumption because it has nothing deal with periodically refresh needed. So this is the main advantage of 60 SRAM cell. Fourth one is stable data storage and high reliability. Because it don't require periodically refresh and also it don't it is very stable storage and high speed reliability. Fifth one is high density and compatible with CMOS technology. So which means that in a CMOS planner technology, it is very good compatibility with CMOS technology. Now, we, it has some advantage also, it has some disadvantage also. Let's discuss about 60 SRAM disadvantage. First disadvantage is a larger cell size compared to DRAM. So this is the main drawback, drawback of 60 SRAM cell. Why? Because in DRAM only one transistor is required but in SRAM six transistor is required as I mentioned like two cross couple inverter and two excess transistor. So size will be very big as compared to DRAM. Second one is high cost per megabyte because transistor size is more obviously cost will be more. Third one is complex layout and higher production cost as I mentioned like transistor number of transistor is more in a 60 SRAM cell. Fourth one is static power consumption due to the leakage current because there is a low like large array bit line and bit line bar like 32 cores 32 108 1024 to 1024 
like this kind of array will be there in 63 srm there is like array we can say it is array so if array is more leakage will be more so we need periodically don't i cannot say that periodically refresh but each and in every operation it should be preached at bitline and bitline bar because of this leakage state fourth one is scaling challenge with smaller technology not yeah obviously 60 srm shall have more challenge in uh, uh, lower technology node because of this uh, you know double pattern and all thing so its size will be more small it has uh, more challenge so if we can if we want to divide the srm operation to phase it has a two phase one phase is read and write operation are performed in first phase which is our primary focus and x is t5 t6 connected with bit line and bit line bar and its gate is connected with word line and the second phase is stand by mode with the word line is low x transistor are off preserving the data so whatever data will be there in q and q bar node it will be retained as a same when uh, as long as word line is off so the, we will divide into two phase phase 1 read and write operation phase 2 means it is like slip mode or stand by mode we cannot say still slip mode sorry for that in stand by mode which is word line is low when word line is low we can say it is stand by mode so in conclusion the 60 cell represent a significant advancement in memory technology offering a high speed and efficiency with minimal power consumption the careful design and operation it's provide a reliability and robust solution for various application yeah so this is how we can say about 60s ram cell so if you want like more detail about read and write operation you can visit my website called siliconvlsi.com you will get exact description of read and write operation for 60 srm cell i explain in a detail in that uh, page so you can visit i will give you that link in the comment box you can check so thank you for watching this if you found this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more deep divine dives into the technology let's know in the comment if you have any question related to this 60 srm cell see you in next video thank you bye bye